How to make microfoam with a nanofoamer. Tips, tricks, and troubleshooting. First, select the nano screen. The super fine will create the finest possible microfoam, while the fine will create a slightly thicker foam. Snap the nano screen onto the impeller. Place the nanofoamer into a jug of warm milk as shown. Angle it back slightly to help the flow. Make sure your milk is between 55 and 65 degrees Celsius. Start churning in the center. This is the aerating phase where bubbles get incorporated. A few seconds is all it takes. The longer you hold in the center, the more air is incorporated. Gradually move towards the edge, but try to keep a visible vortex in the center. You will hear a change in sound as air is no longer being incorporated. The bubbles are now getting turned into microfoam. The sound will gradually completely disappear as the microfoam becomes ultra smooth. Your microfoam milk is ready for pouring. Experiment with long and short churns to find the exact foam density you prefer. You must have enough milk in the jug to completely submerge the impeller. Otherwise, big bubbles will occur. Make sure to submerge the impeller deep inside the milk. If you churn near the surface, big bubbles will appear. Work in a smooth continuous process. If you start and stop regularly, you won't get an even flow and risk creating some big bubbles. Avoid going back to the center after the initial stage is completed. The center is where big bubbles are created. If you create big bubbles when you already have microfoam, they'll float to the surface and you might find it challenging to pull them back down. If you find yourself struggling, start with the fine nano screen, as it is easier to get consistent results than with the super fine. Also make sure you use fully charged batteries to keep the motor spinning as fast as possible.